Many powerful kingdoms have flourished and faded, but there's never been a country or kingdom which stood as a center forever. Modern times are no different. The center of gravity for economic power continues shifting east back to where it was 300 years ago. In today's video, let's find out what the future holds for current superpowers. If you're new to this channel, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss another video. At its height, it was the largest empire in history, and for over a century was the foremost global power. By 1922, the British Empire held over 458 million people, one quarter of the world's population, and covered over 33,700,000 square kilometers, almost a quarter of the Earth's total land area. By the start of the 20th century, Germany and the United States had challenged Britain's economic lead. Subsequent military and economic tensions between Britain and Germany were major causes of the First World War, during which Britain relied heavily upon its empire. The conflict placed enormous strain on the military, financial, and manpower resources of Britain. Although the British Empire achieved its largest territorial extent immediately after World War I, Britain was no longer the world's preeminent industrial or military power. In the Second World War, Japan occupied Britain's colonies in East and Southeast Asia. Despite the final victory of Britain and its allies, the damage to the British prestige helped to speed up the decline of the empire. India, Britain's most valuable and populous possession, achieved independence as part of a larger decolonization movement in which Britain granted independence to most territories of the empire. The transfer of Hong Kong to China in 1997 marked for many as the end of the British Empire. Germany was a superpower only once in its history when it was Nazi Germany. Today, it is not a superpower, and it does not have what it needs for a country to become a superpower. Even though it is the biggest economy in Europe with a GDP of $3.47 trillion, it is far less than that of the USA and China. Germany revises its GDP growth forecast to 1% in the year 2019. In terms of military, Germany lacks any capability of superpower. The German army is not even the strongest in the EU. The British army and potentially the French army both house a larger military force. The story of Brazil is no different. With huge natural resources and a booming economy, Brazil was thought to be the next big thing at the start of the 21st century. Brazil's economy was strong even during the 2008 financial crisis, but from mid-2014 to 2016, Brazil experienced a severe economic and political crisis. Even though its military is the largest in Latin America, compared to the major military powers, Brazil lacks the necessary punch. Japan is the greatest success story of the post-World War II period. Like a phoenix, it has risen from the ashes. The war had devastated the Japanese economy like no other. It had wiped two Japanese cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, out by two atomic bombs of 10 kilotons each. Japan remained under occupation for a long time and it made its peace treaty with its main adversaries in 1955. Japan in the 80s was among the richest and the most successful countries having converted its weakness into strength. It was an economic superpower. In early in 1992, the Japan asset price bubble burst and Japan's economy stagnated. Over the period of 1995-2007, Japan's GDP fell from 5.33 trillion to 4.36 trillion in nominal terms. Combine that with an aging population and limited natural resources, Japan might never get back to what it was in the early 1980s. During the immediate post-war period, the Soviet Union rebuilt and expanded its economy, while maintaining its strictly centralized control. It took effective control over most of the countries of Eastern Europe, turning them into satellite states. The Soviet Union bound its satellite states in a military alliance. Moscow had built up a military that consumed as much as 25% of the Soviet Union's gross national product. By the early 1980s, the USSR had built up a military arsenal and army surpassing that of the United States. Soviet spending on the arms race and other Cold War commitments both caused and exacerbated deep-seated structural problems in the Soviet system, which experienced at least a decade of economic stagnation. After the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Russia drastically cut military spending, and restructuring the economy left millions unemployed. The capitalist reforms culminated in a recession in the early 1990s, more severe than the Great Depression as experienced by the United States and Germany. Today's Moscow might not be as powerful as the Soviet Union, but with a large land area, huge resources, and an advanced military, Russia still plays a dominant role in the international stage. The Republic of India is considered as one of the emerging superpowers of the world. This potential is attributed to several indicators, the primary ones being its demographic trends and a rapidly expanding economy. And by GDP, India became the world's fastest growing major economy in 2018, with over 7% GDP growth. The country must overcome many economic, social, and political problems before it can be considered a superpower. It is also not yet as influential on the international stage when compared to many nations. Even though India has done a great job in increasing its literacy rate, life expectancy, and reducing poverty, 
poverty, the Indian standard of living is still low compared to that of developed nations. India is building its infrastructure at a rapid pace, and with a military power that ranks fourth in the world, and an economy that is expected to cross $3 trillion by 2019, India is touted to be on the path of attaining its previous position as the center of the world. The People's Republic of China receives continual coverage in the popular press of its emerging superpower status, and has been identified as a rising or emerging economic growth and military superpower by academics and other experts. In fact, the rise of China has been named the top news story of the 21st century by the Global Language Monitor as measured by the number of appearances in the global print and in electronic media, on the internet, and in social media. The term second superpower was applied by scholars to the possibility that the People's Republic of China could emerge with global power and influence on par with the United States. The potential for the two countries to form stronger relations to address global issues is sometimes referred to as the Group of Two. The Chinese economy is the second largest in terms of nominal values at $14 trillion and is expected to cross the USA by 2028. China has the largest army in the world and is ranked third overall. China is planning to match its military budget to that of the USA by 2030. In 2018, China's military budget was around $175 billion, which is roughly one-fourth that of the USA. China's economy is growing above 6% a year. Combine that with its rising power and influence over the international stage, and experts believe China could geopolitically dominate the 21st century. The United States is the world's most powerful country by far, with a globe-spanning network of alliances and military bases. With an economy of $21 trillion and a military budget of $706 billion, America is sitting comfortably on the top of the ladder. Even though China is expected to overtake the economy of the USA, it is still decades behind the USA in terms of per capita and military technology. The USA will be the first country on the planet expected to have a military budget of $1 trillion by 2030. China is still relatively poor compared to America. American influence is not going anywhere at least not for the next 100 years. The USA has continued its dominance since the mid-20th century, and would remain the same till the end of the 21st century. China, with the USA, will lead the 21st century, with India joining the league by the mid-21st century. However, India and China are expected to take the lead by the 22nd century. Thank you so much for watching guys, if you're new to our channel give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon. If you enjoyed the sweet sensational sounds of my voice, don't forget to check out my channel, That's Grey Bro, in the link below. This is Grey, signing off.